Hi, this is Jack Downs, and I'm redoing my video about the um, SFX creating sound effects, creating sound in Audacity uh, for that assignment because the other one didn't have any audio. So hopefully this will go better. Um, so uh, I'm just going to jump right into it. Uh, although, yes, you could have folders and stuff like that because you're going to make a file in the end. You don't have to go get any files. There'd be nothing in the originals. Um, instead, here we are, um, and we're going to uh, just start making some sound. The instructions explain that we're going to be using this generate menu quite a bit. First, we're going to do first, but first we're going to have to make a track. Tracks add new mono. First time we use mono track, and uh, really mono tracks are fine, no problem at all uh, for the kind of work we do. Having just the sound, same sound go to both channels is fine. And we're going to go to Generate DTMF Tone. I have my phone number in there, and I have it at 8 second, uh, sorry, 0 .8, 0 0.8 amplitude, which is probably the default. I'm asking you to put a number in here. Just put a, a um, seven-digit number. That's fine. And I'm asking you to make it three seconds. The easiest way to see if it's three seconds is to go to seconds and see if the three is right there, as it is. And you can play with this slider here if you want. You can try previewing things. I'm just going to say OK. I'm sorry for the beeps. I'm getting some notifications somewhere, but we'll ignore those. Um, what this sound is, and I've got this turned up, so maybe you can hear it. OK, good. So it's like an old phone tone thing. I'm going to make a track, add new mono track. And now this time, I want to make a different tone. You'll, you'll see in the instructions I tell you to add noise. And that there's, I ask you first to use noise that sounds like a waterfall, I think. And then next to make, you're going to do the same thing again, except you're going to make sound that, sound that sounds like a rainfall. And honestly, that's really up to you what you choose. But there's only three choices here. White, pink, and brownian. How can you have color noise, color sound? Apply, apply colors to sound? Well, you can. If you want to know more about that, I'll let you research it on your own because it's kind of beyond the ideas in this class. But um, I'm going to try first pink, and I'm going to see it again if it's moved to seconds. Make sure it's three seconds. That's what I want. You will almost likely have to change that the first time. It may stick for a while. I'm going to say OK. Why did it make the sound here? It did it because that was the active track. It had the, uh, the yellow gold border on it. Um, I'm going to zoom out a couple of clicks and grab my time shift tool and yank that down the timeline okay now i'm going to stick my cursor here at and, and make sure i have the, the that first track active the yellow border around it and i'm going to again generate noise except i'm not going to choose pink now i'm going to choose white sure so the first noise sounds like this and the second noise sounds like this. And does one really sound like a wa waterfall? The other one sound like uh, rainfall? Uh, maybe a little bit. Okay, but that's fine. Just said you have different noises you can make. Of course, now that you know you can make noises, you could also do all kinds of effects to those noises. And use them in different ways. Um, here I go. I've got my cursor now on the bottom track. I'm doing a checkerboarding, of course, right? And I'm going to generate tone. This is tone, and I'm going to choose square this time. Frequency of 100, just don't make it too high or it's going to like blow your ears out. That'd be high in pitch or low in pitch. Anything I think from 60 to 200, but I'm going to stay on the low end there. Again, I want to make sure it's three seconds. Three seconds, okay. Okay, I'm going to zoom out a little bit more. So I've got one, two, three, four sounds. This one sounds like this. Yes, very nice. Um, sign would be much smoother sound, and perhaps you want to go even a little lower. Oh, okay. Um, now I'm going to put my cursor here at this in the upper track. It could be at a lower one; it doesn't matter really. But at the at this next beginning spot, essentially, right? Um, I'm going to make a 30 second thing. I'm going to do a um, rhythm track, and I don't want bars, so I put those to zero. Instead, I want to have seconds. The rhythm track duration, I'm going to go to seconds. I want it to be not, I do want it to be 30. This time it's not three, it's 30 seconds. 30 seconds. 
And what about the rest of these, like the beats per bar, the tempo? Maybe I'll make the tempo a little bit slower. Um, swing them out. I'm not sure what that is. You can play with it. Um, real thing you want to do is decide which of these you want. Which noise do you want? You can you can click. Up, you can choose different ones, and choose um, and try a uh, preview. I'm gonna go with that one. Resonant is nice also. Cowbell can be nice. So I made 30 seconds of this. Here's how, how it looks like. So right now it's just the rhythm background. Okay, so now your goal, and I'm gonna leave you to do this, is to add other sounds along here to make a, your own little musical composition. And if you get a lot of them and you need another track down here, you can do that too. What kinds of sounds are you gonna add? You're gonna do like uh, generate. Pluck is a good one. I'll just take that one. You can play with the settings. Um, that's a one second pluck. It sounds like this. Let's say I like that. I'm going to select it and I'm going to copy it. Control C. I'm going to do that. I put my cursor down here and add it a few more times and move it around to the right place. I'll add some other noises. You can any, generate any noise in here that you like. Um, you can even add effects to them if you wish. And then try some, try some pluck try some chirp try some other noise if you want or whatever you want add things in here try to make your own little musical composition and be creative um that is again 30 seconds we are putting sounds that now play at the same time but it's separate from these so you should in the end have 12 seconds plus 30 seconds 42 seconds worth of stuff you will again mix and render and make your your uh mp3 and that is the end of the exercise.